on me, Abshani. Hello, welcome back to Curious Salah Reads. I am Curious Salah. Welcome back to my channel for you returning subscribers. If you still haven't liked, subscribe to my channel. Please do like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. As I've said before, this month is the month of May, so we are looking at books by my fellow African brothers and sisters because African Month is in May and African Day is celebrated on the 25th of May. So, uh, in this review, I'm going to be looking at This Mournable Body by Titi Dangaremba. So, Titi Dangaremba is a Zimbabwean author. And last year it was selected for the Booker Prize. Um, it was shortlisted for the Booker Prize, which is a really big honor, actually, if you come to think about it. Although I'm not entirely sure, as um, I've seen from a lot of reviewers, that you enjoy this book a lot more once you've read her first two other books. So it's actually a trilogy, uh, Nervous Conditions and the Book of Not. Uh, they actually all are about Dambu and her journey into adulthood so this is the last book of the series the last book of um you know the series so yeah i am gonna stop telling you about the summary <laughs> before i get into it so dambu is a, a middle-aged woman in zimbabwe she is currently squatting in a youth hostel and she literally is under pressure to move because um it's deemed not okay for her to still be living there um her landlord at the time is actually kind and still kind and is helping her or is suggesting places for her to go to you know and so she eventually she does find um she does find new accommodation she moves um with a widow and she then gets a job she gets a job and she usually goes through a whole lot of um triumphs and failures it's like ups and downs that she has to deal with and um yeah honestly this book is written in the second person so you and i struggled with it i struggled with it <laughs> and um I think most people who didn't read the first two struggle with it or either um you come to appreciate this one a lot more once you've read the first two so because i'm still waiting for my delivery i haven't and so um probably i'm gonna do this review much justice but for me honestly i didn't enjoy it i struggled to read it um it was a difficult read for me because it was written in the second person so um it's almost like we are detached or like Dambu is detached from all of her actions and everything that's happening to her. It's almost like she's a spectator uh, and she's just on autopilot and just going through life in that way. And um, I don't understand her actions sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of, you know, because there's a, there's a scene, you know, this is literally in the first couple of pages um the scene where Dambu become bears witness to almost an assault of one of her hostile mates um at a taxi rank in the market of Zimbabwe and she's just like sort of moving with the crowd like she doesn't want to but she does um she wants to stop them but she can't it's almost like you know she's just part of this train that's just moving forward with these actions and um she then uh, when she gets back home to the hostel and her hostel mate is like why did you you know just stand by and she's like nobody wanted that to happen but it did so there's a lot of what it sort of feels like a detachment for me um like she's not part of the action or she doesn't want to get her hands dirty but at the same time She's not moving away from the drama per se. So for me, I am rating it a three. And you can try reading it yourself because I actually realized when I read it out loud, someone else I actually can manage it better. So I think if there is an audiobook, I'm going to try that instead. I'm going to try getting the audiobook so that I can actually give it um 
the love it deserves because it is a beautiful work okay Titi's writing is amazing okay i love the way she describes certain things and the way she just paints pictures to you and then there's a character that she introduces it's christine i actually liked her because she was part of the um, the war on on the independence in, in in zimbabwe and through her we get to see that um life is not as rosy as 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 you know they had promised and it's almost like they were sold a dream and they went out to fight and they still came back and nothing really changed they changed instead and so um we see a whole lot of um the effect of colonialism in this past in this, in this country and also the effects of a capitalist um society in this you know in this in this country as well so it's it's kind of um sad because we also see how there's so much pressure on the young people to you know succeed because Tambu is literally the only one in 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 her house so in her family who got an education and so um as someone who got an education she's supposed to be doing way better she's supposed to be able to send money home she's supposed to be able to look after her family but now she's literally at a point where um she can't even do that she's struggling with accommodation she's struggling with finding another job she's literally struggling with even getting food to eat because she keeps on rummaging through her landladies um at the hostel no no, no not the youth hostel the widows she keeps rummaging through her garden you know for vegetables in order to eat and she just it's almost like she feels like she should be way better like better off instead of the position that she's in and she even contemplates marrying one of the widow's um sons in order to you know up her status in life and to up her situation and to change the situation for the better and yeah it's kind of i don't know it's kind of sad because then they also make mention of how people with degrees like hers are actually now moving out of the country because there's just no opportunities in this country like things are just so bad people are moving to um mozambique to zambia to even south africa for better opportunities um she's got a cousin who is in like in the states and is actually you know doing way better so um i feel like she puts so much pressure on herself and she actually feels ashamed for the fact that she can't do for her family as much as she would like to as much as um you know it seems like she's the one with the education and you know who went out and to better herself but she's struggling even worse than her family is back home who never actually got an education ah so there are a lot of themes which are explored in this book which is really interesting so i like that about it but for me it was difficult to read um i couldn't get past this um second person telling of it uh it it, it, it was hard to sort of connect with Dambu or to you know make feel bad for her because she always just sort of feels so detached from the situation um like it's not her it's you know but yeah uh there's some pretty other interesting characters in there um basically i'm in love with christine i liked how she's so odd you know obviously she's seen things in the war and you know it has changed her as a person and and the way she does things the way she sees things and i appreciate that character so i am going to look for an audio version of this monable body but for this i'm gonna give it a three and i'm gonna try it again um probably down later in the year as i also get the first two and yeah i'll let you know how that goes okay so thank you so much <laughs> for watching this review i apologize if it was not to your satisfaction um yeah thank you so much for watching though <laughs> Let me know if you've read it, if you have read it and how you found it, okay? If you've read the whole series even, how did you find it? Did you enjoy it? Was it like enjoyable to you? Let me know what you think because Titi's writing is absolutely brilliant. It's me. So yeah.
uh thank you so much for watching this review please do comment like subscribe and let me know what you think i appreciate all the love and uh do stay tuned for the next review until next time bye